National Security Minister Issa Malbenzio visited the Temple Mount on Tuesday morning in a surprise visit. He made the trip one day after he publicly announced delayed plans to do so following a meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Monday evening. He arrived with heavy security coordinated in advance with the police and press agents. Upon arriving, Benzir said that the government would not succumb to Hamas threats, reiterating that the Temple Mount is the most important site for the people of Israel and saying we will maintain freedom of movement for Muslims and Christians, but also Jews will ascend the mount. He added that those who make threats will be dealt with an iron fist. The decision to visit the site was reportedly made during his meeting with Netanyahu on Monday. Benzir insisted on the visit to the Temple Mount, saying that the government must not capitulate to Hamas killer threats. In retaliation, the Netanyahu reportedly did not object to the visit, as was previously reported in Hebrew media. Benzir initially announced his intention to visit the site on Sunday as he took on his new role as National Security Minister. Following the announcement, the Gaza-based terror organization Hamas threatened that Benzir's pilgrimage would ignite the region and warned it would not stand idly by. Palestinian Authority also condemned the visit in a statement calling it an unprecedented provocation. On Monday, opposition leader and former Prime Minister Yair Lapid also spoke out against Benzir's intended visit, saying people will die. Yet, despite the threats and warnings, Benzir's visit to the Temple Mount occurred in full consultation and approval of Israeli security forces and without incident. Though now, Israel will likely be on high alert for retaliation by terror organizations following the visit. Watch the Temple Mount in the next few days, in the upcoming weeks. This has the potential to boil over. Watch the Temple Mount. Again, this has the potential to boil over into the Psalm 83 war. Former Prime Minister Errol Sharon last visited, or rather visited the Temple Mount in the year 2000 and that triggered the Second Intifada. We have Israel's enemies threatening, not wanting to, the status quo to change on the Temple Mount. Ben Gavir, the new security minister, just visited as a declaration that the status quo will be changing. So folks, brothers and sisters in Christ, keep your eyes on Israel. Israel determines the timing of the rapture of the church. Watch events happening all throughout Israel. We see that time fast approaching. We see wars and rumors of wars as the Lord Jesus Christ has warned us would occur in these last days. We see all these things coming to a head. Now more than ever, we need to share the gospel to a lost world that is stumbling around in darkness. We are to be lights for this world that cannot hear or see or understand what is going on. If you are watching this, pay attention to the signs, pay attention to the events, pay attention to the warnings all throughout the world that the Lord is giving us. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Repent and believe the gospel that is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for your salvation. Believe in the Son of the living God who was manifested in the flesh, God himself, to take away the sins of the whole world, who was crucified on that cross, was buried and raised on the third day for our justification. His name is Jesus Christ, and we are saved by none other. For the Lord alone is our Savior. If you are watching this, this is where the world is coming to. Wars, rumors of wars, famines, distress of nations, persecution, earthquakes, natural disasters, all coming to a head. But church, start looking up. 
we know that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming for us soon. If you are watching this and you're wondering what on earth is going on, we are fast approaching that time of judgment. Believe the gospel. God bless you.